Uh, Kate and I have decided to separate. Yes, we uh, have decided um, that we will separate. I try to contemplate it and think about it and would it be better for us. It's just not good for our kids for us to be arguing in front of our kids. We can't be cordial with one another. Then we decide to separate. I'm not very fond of the idea, personally, um, but I know it's necessary. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, August 18th. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I was perusing on the tabloids. Sometimes I do that. And I noticed that The Sun has a new story about Kate Gosselin. And this time it's about her stealing money from bank accounts attached to her children. <gasps> this is the kind of stuff that you people on this channel live for. And I have a feeling that once I dive into this story, uh, let's get into it. Now, I, I feel like I remember something similar to this happening like briefly, but I don't think the extent of what happened has been made public before. So this is actually kind of intense. And it also involves how Kate financed that home she bought in North Carolina. It says that in never before seen court records, she borrowed money from a trust fund for her kids of up $100,000. So John said that she still has not paid the money back and called her move disgusting and morally wrong. So she borrowed the money back in 2018, it sounds like, and that money has not been repaid back as of 2022. It says that uh, John had noticed that a large amount of money was missing from his children's trust accounts, both Hannah and Colin when he gained custody of them in 2018 and saw their bank statements. Um, they set up the, the accounts when they were young and it was for their earnings from appearances and activities and it gave them tax breaks on their savings and loans could be made with permission and paperwork to pay it back. So they could take loans on it, but they had to do paperwork. So it says that when he questioned the court the next year, she admitted that she withdrew two lots of $50,000 from the kids' trust and adding, I will have to keep borrowing from it to survive. So she was making no money and she was worth, she was willing to go into a pot that was designated for her kids for their work on the show. And rather than like get a job, I guess, she was going to liquidate their trust funds. That's kind of how it sounds like to me. She claimed that they were being used to meet her and her children's expenses. But John says that the timing of this was really suspect because she purchased a $750,000 lakeside home with a swimming pool. She also sold a property, so she had some equity, I'm sure, to put into it. And he said that she never paid the money back to the kids. And that's according to the accounts he still has ownership of with Hannah and Colin. And Kate's lawyer declined to comment on this on this story it says that in the testimony which has never been reported on publicly she stated that she had borrowed money from a corporation she jointly owned with the kids to furnish the house okay so she not only borrowed money from their trust she also borrowed money from their business that they joint own with the kids this was despite her admitting in court testimony that she was a tv personality author and registered nurse who made $40,000 per episode for her show, Kate Plus Date, which aired in 2018 for a six episode season. Okay, so she said that she took out a loan from a corporation, okay. And then she confirmed that she had not worked at all in 2019 other than finishing off some filming that had already been paid for. And she was paying her bills with a lot of hope and a lot of prayer along with a loan from the kids' trusts. Okay, so she didn't have work. She was going into their trusts, taking money out of their trusts. She Her show was canceled in 2019. She They got rid of her after she didn't have permits for the last uh, check-in she did with the kids. And TLC dumped her at that point. And this is what John said about the situation. 
he said parents are not supposed to withdraw money from these accounts without permission and without drawing up paperwork that they will pay it back. But she has produced no paperwork and no payments have been made. You can't just live off your kid's money. She's a hypocrite. It makes me feel disgusted. She's been on TV telling the world that she has saved her children's money when she actually has been stealing from them. She's a hypocrite. There's been no remorse from her at all. And now they're 18, she thinks that she can get away scot-free. It says that she tried to claim in testimony that the kids owed her thousands of dollars for school fees and she had to pay because she had paid for them in the past. So she, in testimony, she said, I mean, I paid $387,000 for their private school tuition out of our income, not the trust over the years. That's your like job as a parent. Why would your kids have to pay for their own school? So I mean, I'm not looking to collect that, but I borrowed $100,000 from the kids trust and it actually owes me $387,000 technically. He slammed that as crazy. In the ruling, the judge stated that she should have made plans to repay the loans. And he said, if these were truly, if these truly were loans, there should be evidence of repayments sometime in the future. And says the evidence does not support the mother's argument that her earning capacity is zero. He also said that she lacked, has a lack of credibility regarding her financial claims and ordered that she was be liable to pay child support and arrears. In a counterclaim she filed, she claimed that the court had committed an error in finding that she failed to produce documentation. That was dismissed. She was also found in contempt of court and ordered to pay $1,500 in attorney fees to her ex-husband, who was given control of Hannah and Collins' trusts. Um, and he says none of the money that she loaned from Hannah and Collins has ever been repaid. And it says the son does not know whether or not she's repaid any of the loan to the other six kids in her care since the 2019 court proceedings. She bought a $650,000 home. She has Kara and Maddie in college. All the sex tablets are 18 now, so they, their custody battle is over. He said that he cannot keep silent anymore about the missing cash and demanded that she pay back the money that she owes to Hannah and Colin, as well as to the other kids, if she has not already. He said, when I was named the trustee of Colin and Hannah's trust accounts, I noticed that money in their accounts was much less than the amount I'd seen on their bank accounts previously. We went to domestic courts and I did a full financial discovery and so did Kate, but she didn't produce her full information. When my attorney cross-examined her, she admitted that she borrowed from the accounts. My attorneys have asked her for paperwork and she has not produced anything. I haven't seen the other children's accounts because even though I'm supposed to get quarterly bank statements from these children, she never produces them. We thought maybe she could have sold her Pennsylvania house. She'd use some of that money to replenish the accounts, but she has not. So none of the money that she made off the sale of her house went back to the kids' trusts. And he says that Hannah and Colin are furious that their mother would take their money. It says Hannah and Colin are really mad uh, Hannah has called Kate, Hannah called Kate the other day about it, but Kate didn't seem to care. I don't know what the other children know about this money. I want them to know about this. And it says now Hannah and Colin are 18 and it's up to them to file a civil suit against her to get the money back. Oh my gosh. Did you just hear that? Hannah and Colin could potentially sue their mother. I would be so mad if I were Hannah and Colin. I wonder if John is putting this out there because he doesn't know if the kids will actually know this unless he goes to the media. Oh man, Kate is so weird. She's such a, I'm neutral. I'm Switzerland, not going there. It, this is just so sketchy. I remember that she was held in contempt about something related to money. I didn't realize that this is what it was about. This is really sick. And it says it's an obscene amount of money and it's their money. She said Kate's listed lawyer on the court papers, Cheryl Young, declined to comment to the son. So she stole a bunch of money from them and then never paid it back. Like, and then she uses the argument that, well, I paid for your school. So I actually, it's like an IOU. What the heck is this? 
she's basically living off of the trust funds of the kids that were set up while they were filming that were supposed to be for their college education and for their lives and for all the work that they did as kids. And John is saying, you took up $100,000 from two of the kids that I have custody for. So if that's just the, the money he took from Colin and Hannah, what kind of money did she take from the other kids? Like how much money has she taken in total? And what kind of mother says, well, I paid for your private school tuition. Do you understand how wild that means? That means that she is saying that the kids would have to have paid for their own school. Minor children. Minor children having to pay for their own schooling. Are you, there's no wonder the judge did not uh, favor her in that. Do you think Hannah and Colin would sue their mom? I mean, she's working as a nurse now. There is absolutely no way that she could po probably repay this right now. Her money has dried up. She doesn't have any, like, she's not on TV. She doesn't use her social media. She's not an influencer at all. She, like, doesn't have anything to do with anything. She had a huge platform that she just sort of, like, walked away from forever. And she owes them a lot of money, and now this all makes sense. Are you shocked that she might have stolen from her kids? I mean, it sounds like she did. This is all alleged, but... And she didn't, her, her attorneys declined to comment. If I were Hannah and, and, and Colin, I would probably file a lawsuit against my mom. But that's so messy. But that's horrible. They had money that they were planning to spend for their education and for their futures that's not there now because their mom took it from them. Money that she wasn't supposed to touch that John says is gone. And there's six other kids that she was maybe dipping her hands in. That's so horrible. Were these your children, Kate, or were these your workers to fund your lifestyle? That's what I want to know. What are your thoughts about this? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.